Okay, so here we are attempting to determine the ion that forms for fluorine after the octet rule has been satisfied. First things first, we're going to need to look at a periodic table, find fluorine, there it is. Fluorine has an atomic number of 9, indicating that it has 9 protons and, in its neutral state, 9 electrons as well. So let's draw fluorine for some reference and start to draw our Bohr diagram. Fluorine has nine, uh, an atomic number of nine, indicating that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine electrons. First things first, I'm going to draw my nucleus. Given that only two fit in the first shell, I'm going to need a first and second electron shell. Here's our first. Here's our second. Now fluorine is going to fill its first shell first, as all atoms do, with two electrons. So I can get rid of two of these electrons right here. I count up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now given that the octet rule would state that fluorine needs eight electrons in its outer electron shell to be satisfied, I'm going to need to add one more electron right here. But given that we started out with nine protons, nine positives, and nine negatives, I'm realizing this is changing. So with the addition of one more electron, this is now 10 negatives, which means that I have nine positives, 10 negatives, giving me one extra minus. If I have one extra minus, fluorine is going to become an F1 minus ion. If you're curious, this is an anion, indicating that it's an ion with a negative charge. I hope this helps.